How's it going? This is just a quick video on how to build confidence to use circle hooks with a dingle dangle. So I've been fishing this way with circle hooks and dingle dangles for about five or six years. Four or five years ago, I noticed people started fishing like this, okay? The J hook down the bottom and a circle hook up the top. And what this is, is a crude and inconfident version of a circle hook and a dingle dangle. And this is the dingle dangle here with a nice sharp J hook on the end of it. My point is that I've been fishing this way quite a while and I'm here to spread the news that you don't need this hook down the bottom. This is a very easy and quick way to imitate the way a dingle dangle is fished. If I was to improve it, I put another snell right there. It will help out. It won't move out of the way like this when the fish takes it or whatever. But ideally, ideally, you want it in the center of the hook, which the South Africans figured out through trial and error. If you're gonna fish this way and it's working for you and you've got confidence in it now, just cut the tip off it and use it as a bait clip, a bait clip. That's what it is originally. Trust me, this works and it will save fish. You won't hook fish needlessly on this and damage them. And you could go one step further, right? You could put a, a bead at the top, right? And a bit of rubber tubing there as well, or plastic tubing, just to so it's easier to put the bait on. You won't need that bead at the bottom because you got that hook there. That's my thoughts on this. It works fantastically. It doesn't matter how small the fish, how big the fish. You just have to remember to let the fish do the work for you. Don't strike, just let the fish do everything for you. When you get a big fish on, you just lift into the fish and just knock it a few times. Just boom, boom like that. There's no point in striking. You'll just pull the hook out of the fish's mouth nine times out of 10 in my experience. The lead weight does a lot of work for you as well as the fish hits it and tries to run off. I'm gonna demonstrate this now quite simply by putting a dingle dangle onto this. And it is a natural fact, a dingle dangle, not a dongle because it dingle dangles it certainly does not dongle. Anyway, so that's it there. And I'm gonna put this one down beside it and you can see what I mean. That's exactly what it is and that's where it comes from. I have a video on how to make these and I link that in the description. There's three different types that are good for, for general use anyway. So I'm Billy. This is Billy trying to spread some confidence wherever you are in the world. Remember, I'll see you in the beach. Bye.